DScope supports three different integration approaches when it comes to integrating DScope into your application. In this video, we will cover approach two that is mentioned here, which is using DScope client SDK. This approach is best suited when you do not want to use flows and screens that can be designed within DScope console and want to use your own UI elements. But you still want to use the DScope client SDK for cookie and session management. Let's look at the DScope client SDKs and different guides available. In this particular section of the documentation, you will see all different guides available for DScope SDK. In this tutorial, we will use one time password guide to build a very simple application to authenticate the user using OTP. Here is a JavaScript and HTML application that I've written. We will dive into the code in a few minutes. The application takes the user's email address. Then we ask to submit an OTP and then authenticates the user. Right now, this application is not doing anything other than displaying the form. Let's look at the code. Here is the HTML file. What I have here is a very simple form which takes email. When the email is submitted, it shows the OTP form. And here is the JavaScript file which manages the entire logic for submission of the email address, submission of the OTP and verification. This right now has no logic to send OTP or verify OTP. It's all left empty. We will just follow our guide to go through each of these steps. Let's go back to our documentation. So we'll start following the documentation step by step. We will do a user sign up and user verification. First step is to install the SDK. Let's copy this. Let's create a new terminal. Let's install the DScope SDK. Now let's go ahead and import and initialize the SDK. Let's not worry about exception handling for now. This initializes the SDK. Notice that we already copied the project ID, which is an important piece of information. The project ID is auto-populated in the documentation based on the project chosen. The next step is to actually initiate the user sign up. Let's copy this entire code and we will have to modify this a little. This is the part of the form where email is submitted and we get the email. Let's paste all of that sample code and quickly go through it. In our example here, we can pass the user object, which can have name, phone, email. In our case, since we did not get any name or phone number from the user, we will delete this. Email, we actually do have here, which we call identifier, as you see right here in the sample code identifier, we already get it. so. Delete it. Delivery method. We are going to use email as the delivery method. You can choose SMS as the delivery method if you want to use phone and SMS for OTP. Let's remove all of these comments which tell you the return value and return code. And we will call sign up. And if there is an error, we will log all the error messages. If it is successful, then successfully initialized sign up. And once the sign up is successfully called OTP is sent to the user. The next step is to verify the OTP. So we'll skip the sign in. This is usually for a sign in if the user already exists. We also have a method to combine sign up or sign in into a single method if you would like. But let's do the verification. Let's copy the verification part. Let's quickly modify this. So the identifier again is the email address, which we have from our web form. We'll copy that down here. The code we should get from our web form as well. Input, OTP input, OTP input. And at this point of time, successfully verified. So we will log it in addition Let's clean this up a little and user successfully 
logged in. That should be it. So we had both sign up and verification of the OTP. Let's test our application. Before we test our application, let's also see quickly the console. In this console, there's no users created. And when we sign up, a new user should show up right here. So let's test our application. I'll give it. At this point of time, the OTP is sent to my email. Let me get the code from my email. Before we submit the code, I'm going to open inspect because we had some console logs. Submit. OTP submit is called. User successfully logged in. And we also see a full console log of the response that we got. In this response, you have the user's chart, the relevant session information, email of the user, and other attributes all included, which you can use in your application. Let's close this. Also, let's go back to the Dscope console to see if the user is created. You see user created email is verified. This checkbox means the email is verified because of the OTP that was verified. So quick recap. With this very simple applications and two SDK calls, we were able to demonstrate signing up with OTP over email and the verification of OTP over email. There are other methods supported in the Dscope client SDK, which is sign in, sign up or sign in. All of them go with the verification. Before we end the tutorial, one of the last stages in your integration is validating the session from the back end of your application. And that can be done very easily with either Node.js, Python, or Go SDKs that are available and shown here in the documentation. Thank you.